Hello everybody and welcome to Miss Enjoy Spiritual Life Advice Channel. I am Miss Enjoy and I am here to do your Libra Love and Soulmate Connection reading for April 8th through the 16th. That is Libra Love and Soulmate Connection reading for April 8th through the 16th. I read for love because I'm a loving kind of lady. I do not read for singles. This is a relationship, love connection, soulmate connection reading. So even if you may be in a time of separation, or and that person just may very well be in your life actually, because it's in my last reading I did, the person is like got a guy in the friend zone. That's their soulmate. So this may apply for you, apply to you, even if you're not actually together, but. That is your soulmate, your love connection, your boo thing, or that person is lurking and meant for you. This may very well be for you. My readings are gender fluid. There are lots of lovely same-sex couples out there. So if you're a female with a masculine energy or a male with a feminine energy, then this may very well still apply to you. Take what resonates with you. You know who you are, what you do, and how you do. All right. I do not read reversals here. I use mini decks as clarifiers. So you will not see upside down cards here. I also do not tell you who you are dealing with. You will not hear me say you were with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. They may confuse you. As most of us don't even know our own entire planetary chart placement. You may have a partner who has a planetary placement in that you do not know about or unaware of. In their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. And that may confuse you. I want everybody to receive the proper message and no one to be confused. That being said, if I do not resonate with you, please feel free to find a reader who does. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it doesn't sound familiar to you. Feel free to find another reader. Look, plenty of wonderful light workers out here that I turn to in my time of need as well. I will not be upset. Uh, also, I do not give outcomes here because this is a love reading. And never, ever, ever in the case of love do I tell anyone what to do or what not to do. It is free will, and that is up to you. All I can do it is advise and maybe open to your eyes some things to some things that you may not be seeing. All right, and that is what I'm here to do. All right, so let's get started. We're going to take the bottom card as the overall energy of the entire reading. All right, and we got the Ace of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful. Offer that love, offer that emotion. That's a lot of emotion. Ooh, we feeling strong. Libra is feeling strong. All right, the first row, spirit, ancestors, gods, goddesses, guardian angels, and watchers. Oops. All right, the first row. Ooh, take that because it fell out. As overall energy of the relationship. Yeah, always when there's that high level of emotion. We got the devil card. First row is the overall energy and situation of the relationship. So we got the devil card, the seven of cups. Oh, Lord, what is y'all going through, Libras? You know what? I've noticed that y'all are having... I'm so sorry. Y'all been having a hard time. My Libra's been having a really hard time. I'm so sorry. All right, second row is going to be the overall masculine energy of the relationship. Second row is going to be the overall masculine energy of the relationship. That's the two of pentacles. The eight of wands and the sun card, I guess. All right, and then our third row is going to be the overall feminine energy of the relationship. Third row is the overall feminine energy of the relationship. Oh my goodness, my nose. It's to say the old people say that means somebody's talking about you. That's what my nanny used to say. Let them talk, baby, though. Let them talk. I know they talk and they always have. They always will. But they say they talked about Jesus. They will talk about you. You ain't no better. Okay, we got the star card for the feminine energy, the ten of pentacles, 
and the high priestess. Oh, somebody doing that magic, huh? Pinnacle Eight of Wands and the Sun card. All right, look like somebody may. doing some spell work in here let's see we're gonna clarify the devil card we're gonna clarify the devil card clarify the devil card for me spirit and the overall situation and energy of the relationship come on here cards i know i'm tired you're tired my fingers are tired we just tired all right libra Overall situation, relationship, April 8th, 16. Can you clarify the devil card? Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Next, we're going to clarify the Seven of Cups. And that's the Two of Cups out there. I'm sorry. That's the Two of Cups to clarify the devil card. So we have a soulmate connection here. There just may be something going on that's a little bit toxic. Or possibly, oh, somebody's, mm, it's a connection, but let me, let me clarify. Let me not say too much till I clarify. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, ha. Huh. Mm hmm Clarify the nine of wands, please. Ooh. That's ugly up there. That is not pretty. That is not at all pretty. And we got, we clarifying the nine of wands with the ten of wands. And then the six. Uh-huh. Oh, my goodness. So, who is what is? Okay. Oof. Like I said, there's some, there's some magic going on. There's some spell work going on. All right. Hold on. We got, let me clarify. The two of pentacles on the, ma the masculine energy, please, spirit. Clarify the two of pentacles and the masculine energy, please, spirit. And then we got the high priestess down here and the ten of pentacles and the star card. Oh, yeah, you betcha. Because she's sitting pretty. Yeah, this is not. Okay, so we've got the two of pentacles. The lovers. Page of Pentacles. Give me one more. And the Emperor. Well, it's a soulmate connection. But it's toxic. Or is this the past? Hold on. Let me, let me, let me get these all out and then I'll meditate on it. Eight of Wands again, and the Six of Swords, and then the Sun card. Okay, to clarify the Sun card here, that was the Three of Cups, the World card, and the Wheel of the Year. So we're ending this cycle. This is 
I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, Libra, but this is not attractive. Spread. This is ugly. Excuse the train noise. The bottom is not, the sky is not falling. That's simply the trains on the tracks going clickety-clack. All right. Knocking over my sage pot. And one more shuffle. I didn't like that one. I'm going to give it one more. Alrighty. Alright, and clarifying the star card. We got the Nine of Cups. Oh. Okay, all right, okay, that's better, but it's not, it's not how we want to, hold on, clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please, Spirit, clarify the Ten of Pentacles and the Feminine Energy, please, for my Libra, for my Polar Opposites. Temperance. Okay, have patience. You have to speak your truth, Queen of Swords. Have patience, speak your truth. And the High Priestess. Okay, to clarify the High Priestess here, we have the Seven of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and then the Knight of Swords. Okay, we've got the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords here. Okay. This has been a very ugly third party situation for you, Libra. That's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing that you will have victory. That this is a competition going on. Okay? There's a competition here. This is that's what this five of wands here and this position means between this sun card and following this star, this nine of cups, this competition, and then the sun card. So you will be victorious. And it's the same thing up here. But somebody's playing dirty. She's trying to keep This is a marriage. Yeah, and then we got the five of swords again. I mean, the seven of uh, wands up here. But it's, this is toxic. This is a toxic situation. And there's a lot of emotion. And I'm, I'm not sure. I, I got the message from Spirit that... <clears throat> And he wants to get away. Okay? He knows that... Feminine, he knows that... Which he's juggling right now. He's juggling the situation with the lovers. You have a divine connection. And you're younger than him. 
Yeah, you're the uh the feminine is is she's the page of pentacles. She's younger than him in this situation. She's a little bit younger, but he's the emperor. She's the queen of swords and the knight of swords. Let's see, queen of wands, third party situation. Yeah, okay. And the High Priestess. So we have the High Priestess and the Emperor here on the board. And then you're you're sitting pretty down here, though, Feminine. And you're going to win. and But you're both going to have to speak your truths. I have you. Okay. Um. <clears throat> basically, Masculine, I'm sorry to say this, and Feminine for both of you. But it, it it's, it's going to, ch I see change. Because we've got the Wheel of the Year. And the world card. After the three of cups here. And the sun. So there's change. I see him. He's got the. The eight of, the eight of wands. The eight of wands again. You know there's going to be some fighting. Some arguing. Some hard work. And it, it's going to happen pretty fast. It's not going to take long long. But. Yeah, he knows what he wants. He wants to he's he wants to be with you, feminine. And right now he's juggling and he's trying to get out of the situation. He will be victorious, but right now it, it's bad up here. This is a very toxic situation. This is a bad marriage. And she's trying really hard to keep him in this situation. She's trying really, really hard to keep him in this situation really hard she's pulling out all the stops because the message i was getting from spirit is that there is some there's some magic she's trying spells and all kinds of stuff but she's not going to be successful okay she's not going to be successful and you just have to be patient and i hate to say it and this says it but you're going to have to be patient and like i said you're both going to have to speak your truth you're going to have to speak your truth you're going to have to get up on your... You're going to have to speak your truth. You're both going to have to stand your ground. And you're going to have to fight in this situation to find happiness. But you will win. You will be successful. And this so often is the case. It so often is the case. Um, I haven't done for any of the other readings tonight a romance oracle or journey. I'm sorry, of love oracle card. I'm going to do one for you. The cloak, one for the overall of the relationship, and one for the masculine and one for the feminine. All right. And just briefly, I already know what this means. Let me go through really quickly so we can wrap this up and give you some good advice i'm so sorry masculine do what you gotta do bro get out of the situation masculine the cloak card number 50 around you there's a cloak of your own creation perhaps it has i'm sorry this is for the overall relationship around you there is a cloak of your own creation perhaps it has served you for a time as an invisible form of protection as a way to claim needed solitude as a way to retreat inside to find out what you truly feel what you truly need to find yourself after being lost in the ocean of thought and emotion. Not always your own. Yet time is faster approaching. Will you no longer will require the cloak. You have attained integ int integration within a knowledge of self. That makes it possible for you to connect with the world and with others. In a way that does not leave you lost and struggling to find yourself. Okay. So like I said. Masculine knows this is a bad situation. And he's getting out. All right. He's coming at you strong, and, you know, that's over. That's over. He's he's in his boat, the Six of Swords, and he's on his way, honey. He's getting the hell up out of there, all right? He's got the Eight of Wands back to back here. The Eight of Wands back to back, okay? He's running from this situation. He's getting up out of here, all right? He's getting out of here, okay? 
All right, so 39 is for the masculine. Let the feminine lead the way. And I know this card, basically this card is saying, let your feminine, follow your feminine's lead. Follow your feminine's lead. You know this is your woman. You know this is your person. You know this situation is bad. Do whatever you have to do to get up on this horse and have this victory. And get these swords out of your back. Okay? Leave that fight, that struggle with this nine of wands. Leave that fight and that struggle behind you. Get out of this third party situation. Close up this old toxic relationship. See this? You got the devil card twice up here. Twice. Get out of this. Get out of this. This is toxic. This is toxic. Let the sim lead the way. Change this cycle. Get in your boat with your swords. Okay. Get out here. See the sun. All right. change some things it's time for change this cycle is ending that's ending okay and for the feminine advice the card is the heart of the moment and i know what that is live in the moment live in the moment you're entering a time in your life where past and future are colliding okay in this present moment you have the opportunity to decide how you wish to continue in a certain pattern or of, re of relating or not. This may mean leaving a relationship or starting a new one. But even if you yet cannot yet make a decision with peace in your heart, you can still partake of the heart of this moment and decide how you shall choose to be. Will you speak or will you let go of the shame and criticism of judgment and anxiety of loss and despair and just be with your own heart now? Will you choose in the moment to trust yourself even if that trust says you have to wait a while longer before you can make a long, more long-term decision as to when you can alter your future, stepping into a relationship with another, with the divine, with yourself in a new way. Even if the smallest choice for love is a step in the best direction, you have the heart of the divine within you. It's not too hard for you to choose love. Let go of people who want you to choose jealousy or fear or doubt. Okay? So you got people around you telling you that he's never going to leave this situation. You may be thinking to yourself that you're afraid he's gonna not going to ever leave this situation. But he is. Okay? He's ending this cycle. He's tired of this. And he's wrapping it up. Yeah, he's married. And I know. And I'm so sorry to say this but sometimes my grandmother used to say yes but God doesn't put everything together God does not create all unions people get married for all kinds of stupid ass reasons okay superficial reasons physical reasons because I'm sorry I don't care what they say you don't just get married because you have a child or because somebody's pregnant. You get married for no other reason than that you love someone and that you cannot see your life and your future without them. That's the only reason that you enter into a lifelong union with an individual. And <clears throat> if he sees that with you, he knows this is bad. Whatever went on here, whatever went on here, this is not a good marriage. It's just that simple. And he needs to get out. This is horrible. I've never seen something so ugly. And all that I've read and readings I've done so far, I've yet to see <clears throat> anything this ugly. And I had a reading that I thought some pedophilia was involved in. Okay? I've not seen a spread that ugly. That's ugly. Ooh, that's ugly. The devil, the seven of cups, the seven of wands, the devil card again, the nine of wands, the ten of swords. That's ugly. That's hurt. That's pain. Nobody wants to live in that. And yes, so the Ace of Cups is here as emotion. That's a lot of emotion. That's a lot of hurt and emotion for this masculine. This emperor. And yeah, he's going to leave. He's got to leave. And don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. And both of you have to speak your... You have to become the knight of... The king of... The king of swords and the queen of swords okay that's who you have to become that's who you have to become all right 
Stand up for yourself. Stand your ground. Fight for your relationship. Fight what you got. Fight to get out of a bad situation. Um, and like this card says, in the heart of the moment, feminine, don't it follow your heart. That's basically what that's saying. Follow your heart. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about what anybody's going to think. Don't worry about what anybody says to you. You know what's been said between you and your king of swords. You know what emotion lies between the two of you. Stand in your strength and your feminine the star card. That's what the star card says to me. That's your feminine strength, your feminine power. And you're offering, you have nine cups there to offer this man. Offer that, that emotion to him. Offer that emotion to him. Yes, you might feel like it's a competition, but you're the queen of pentacles. And you're going to see, you, there may be some competition. Or actually, I feel like this is saying there is no competition. Because you're the ten of pentacles. You will see the sun. Okay? You have the ten of pentacles there. Yeah, and there's a little competition. There's a little bit of fight to be had. But you can handle it. Libra. I know y'all. I know some of y'all. Y'all go hard. My mother-in-law's a Libra. Let me tell you something. There were days I didn't think I was going to win. All right? And that's my masculine. <laughs> okay? You heard me? So be patient. Speak your truth. If that's your truth, never be ashamed to speak it. Never speak it disrespectfully unless somebody's disrespectful to you. Now, if they pop off, you pop off. I'm just saying. Don't sit there and be, you got to be standing your power. Y'all got to fight. You're going to have to fight. You got to hold hands and fight together. King and queen of swords. I'm, I'm sorry, queen of swords and knight of swords. All right? You can do this. You got this. You can do this. All right? Libra, stay strong. I hope this goes well for you. I hope you make the right decisions. I hope he makes the right decisions and gets out of that ugly situation and leaves that awfully toxic, 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 toxic marriage. But the cards are saying, you know, it's time to stop, you know, to, to come out of this. Claim your love. Let your feminine lead the way. Masculine. All right. Tell her that you want her. You're ready to get out of this situation and see what she does for you. She doesn't she charge it. And that's what it's telling you to do. Offer her your love. Offer her your ace of cups. Offer her your emotions. Okay? Tell your feminine. Get out of the dark. Tell your feminine how you feel. And, and baby, I'm ready to leave this bitch. I can't take this shit no more. Baby, please. Please. And watch what she do. See, see, see how quick. See how quick. That ten of pentacles... And that fight kicks in. She uses that Ten of Pentacles to, to win this fight and help. She got you. Okay? She's going to be, she's she's kind and loving and patient. But she can also, we can also be that Ten of uh, Queen of Swords. Okay? All right, y'all. Good luck with this. Masculine, like I said, in this, this, this cycle. Feminine, stand by your man. Live in the moment. Don't listen to what everybody else is telling you. Yes, sometimes they do leave their husband, their wife, or whatever for you. Because like I said, this is gender fluid. So whatever this is, you can win. Okay? This says you're going to win. Hang in there. All right. See y'all next week. Love you. A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.